Live at the station UMBN Radio Broadcasting Network, Radio Okai, Valencia, DS. MB AM 1134 AM in your frequency. Okay, so wala pa tingog sa mic. Ano man sir? Yan ka pala nila kanina. Pusog na kay sir. Pusog na. Oh, diri na lang kumu control sir. Pusog kay dito. Dili kay na kumadunggan. Ana. Live at the station UMBN, Radio Broadcasting Network, Radio Kai Valencia, DXMB, AM, 1134 AM in your radio frequency. This is the Valencia National High School, Senior High School, Kaalam sa Kahanginan. Hello, grade 11 and grade 12 Senior High School students. It is Saturday, November 14, 2020. What do you all do today? You are now tuning in in the School on the Air for personal development. We are happy to spend the time while being at home, giving you another fun learning experience. Teacher Lot, your host. And I am Teacher Rich, your co-host. Together, we'll explore personal development, quarter two, module three, Lesson 9 and respond to just a few activities. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy listening while we learn about family structures and legacy. Are you familiar with any of these terms? Yeah, Teacher Rich, that's right. Then you'll be comfortable in your seats now before we start. Make sure you can hear our broadcast clearly. Note, you don't need to follow personal hygiene guidelines, even though you are not yet permitted to leave your homes. Clean hands always and use alcohol or sanitizer with soap and water. Sensational reminder, Teacher Luth, May we ask everyone at this juncture for your modules, Personal Development, Quarter 2, Module 3, Lesson 9, Family Structures and Legacy. You can also get your own pen, paper, for valuable information on this morning's topic. Are you ready? Let's begin! Yes, Teacher Rich, let's continue to our main goal this morning. For sure, all of us will be delighted and will be more valued our family. What is our role in the family? How valuable to us is a family? How did our parents or guardians look after us? If we can't remember, mine are pictures because we, they are our most important people in our lives, regardless of the situation. But we may start thinking about the family's different circumstances. We may ask, what is the straightforward mechanism that helps us in this critical period in our life of our family? to find the specific differences in our family and to help us to appreciate these differences, improve communication, and create close relationship in support. This episode focuses on family structures, family roles, personal and social relationships with family members, and significant others. Thank you. 
Let's begin with our lesson and you're expected to define the meaning of family and rules in the family. Appreciate one's family structure and the type and care he she gives and receives, which may help in understanding himself, herself better and prepare a plan on how to make the family members firmer and gentler with each other. And we need your strong support to be able to do this. Can we expect it from you then? Fantastic! Today, we'll be discussing the family structures and legacies. But before that, in your own understanding, opinion, and experiences, what is a family? Fabulous! Family is a basic unit in a society and is shaped by all forces surrounding it. Values, beliefs, and customs of society influence the role and functions. Did you agree with me, Teacher Rich? Exactly, Teacher Luth. It is also a unit of interacting persons bound by ties of blood. Marriage or adoption constitute with a single household, interact with each other in the respective family rules, and create and maintain a common culture. Now let's proceed to the roles in the family. I'm the eldest of the family and my role is to guide my siblings to do the right things treat them like my own children, and never leave any stone unturned to stand by them when they need me, supports the family not only mentally, but also economically as soon as possible, and as much as possible, tried not to be a burden for them as they too need a helping hand to run the family. How about you, teacher Rich? What rank are you and your role as well in your family? Exactly right, Teacher Luth. We have the same rule. I'm the eldest of the family also, and being the eldest son in the family puts me in a unique position. My parents test their parenting skill in me and expect to well, turn out to be an ideal child. There is an unsaid rule which says, you must always follow the right path. Your parents project you as a role model for the younger siblings, and you are expected to be the knight and shining armor. What happens when, when you falter? Your mistakes are highlighted to teach the younger ones the right lesson. Sensational teacher Rich, you were so amazing. We had revealed the eldest aspect of the roles in the family. We will now proceed to role of a father. Fathers, papas, daddies, tatas need to be patient to make sure everyone is right, raised right and happy. Fathers are not only the breadwinner of the family. They also strive to keep us alive and happy. They work hard to bring the bacon. We know the battles in choosing to invest time in their careers or their family, their ability to persevere and provide a comfortable home, while being a loving father is why they choose to be a better person. Did you agree with me, Teacher Luth and listeners? Let's give a hand to all the fathers in the world. Absolutely, Teacher Rich. At this point, let us find out the role of a mother. A mother's role is to love her children with all her heart. 
It is also the role of every mom to understand her children. Mothers must understand, help, and love the children. And one of the most meaningful roles that mother plays is the role of a, of a nurturer. Children have conflict with friends, siblings, and even their parents. Mother have the joy of helping her children learn the skills of listening, negotiation, compromise, and problem-solving skills that will benefit them for a lifetime. Let's clap our hands to all the mothers in the world. Next is the role of brothers and sisters in the family. They play a unique role in one another's lives that stimulates the companionship of parents as well as the influence and assistance of friends. Because siblings often grow up in the same household, they have a large amount of exposure to one another. Like other members of the immediate family, Teacher Luth, what is your experience with your brothers and sisters? Yes, Teacher Rich, I am proud of my younger brothers and only sister. They were like a backbone for our family. A very responsible, helpful, and easy to ask if you needed them the most. How about you, Teacher Rich? Can you share to us also? How fantastic, Teacher Luth! Having a brother or sister is simply great. They will be our closest friends, a good support in life, and in the difficulties we met. Camaraderie, another aspect practice in my family, Teacher Luth, and I want our listeners to do the same, despite difficulties encountered sometimes. <clears throat> Great teacher Rich, we have different customs and beliefs with our own family. There's no such thing as a perfect one. All we have to do is continue and stick to it. In the end, we are still a family. Are there any additional information, suggestions, clarifications, enlightenment from you? That's much better. Let's cite some types of a family structure. In your module, page 15, together we will do the readings. Everybody knows how important a family is. My classmates was born out of wedlock, has asked me how it feels having a complete family. I almost cannot utter simple words because I know how and what he felt at that time when he asked me question. Nevertheless, I answered him candidly, but assured him that not all nuclear family lives the way he thinks, teacher Luth. Yes, teacher Rich, there were three types of family in terms of membership. These are the nuclear family, single parent family, and the extended family. And what is nuclear family? Nuclear family is the traditional type of family structures. 
This consists of parents never been separated and children. How about the single parent family? Single parent family consists of one or more children and is a mother with her children or a father as well. Lastly, extended family consists of two or more adults who are related either by blood or marriage, living in the same home. This includes many relatives living together and working toward common goal, such as raising the children and keeping up with the household duties. By this, we do hope that you've learned a lot. You can imagine and make a master plan in enhancing personal and social relationships with the family members and significant others. Just to test your comprehension, kindly turn on Turn in your module on page 18 and 19. We want you to answer some questions in a true or false. Write T if the statement is correct and F is otherwise. Let's begin with question number one. Showing trustworthiness is one way of developing rapport and healthy relationships. True or false? Again, showing trustworthiness is one way of developing rapport and healthy relationships. True or false? The correct answer is two. You are so good. <clears throat> Let's proceed to question number two. If a person is dishonest, I should also be dishonest to him or her? True or false? If a person is dishonest, I should also be dishonest to him or her? True or false? The correct answer is false. You got it right. For question number three, attentive listening develops respect and healthy relationships. True or false? Again, attentive listening develops respect and healthy relationships. True or false? <clears throat> the correct answer is true. That's really a nice word. For question number four, establishing mutually acceptable boundaries based on personal values is important in any relationship. True or false? Again, establishing mutually acceptable boundaries based on personal values is important in any relationship. True or false? Okay. 
The correct answer is true. Well done. <coughs> For question number five, interacting with peers and friends will not help teenagers learn to make decisions and good judgment. True or false? Again, interacting with peers and friends will not help teenagers learn to make decisions and good judgment. True or false? The correct answer is false. That's marvelous. For question number six, parent-child relationship is associated with the development of social skills such as conflict and intimacy. True or false? Again, parent-child relationship is associated with the development of social skills such as conflict and intimacy. True or false? <clears throat> the correct answer is true. Keep it up. For question number seven, Adolescents can develop more healthy relationships with their boyfriend or girlfriend than in their peers and other adult members in the family. True or false? Again, adolescents can develop more healthy relationships with their boyfriend or girlfriend than in their peers and other adult members in the family. True or false? The correct answer is false. This is going nice. For question number eight, non-parental adults who are family members cannot be role models to children. True or false? Again, non-parental adults who are family members cannot be role models to children. True or false? The correct answer is false. That's the way. For question number nine, grandparents may serve as a source of support, good influence to adolescents, and provide information about family history and culture. True or false? Again, grandparents may serve as a source of support, good influence to adolescents, and provide information about family history <coughs> and culture. True or false? <coughs> the correct answer is true. Exactly right. And for our last question, number 10. Positive peer relationships also appear to discourage aggression, emotional distress, and antisocial behaviors. True or false? Again, positive peer relationships also appear to discourage aggression, emotional distress, and antisocial behaviors. True or false? The correct answer is two. You are learning so fast.
In summary, this episode dealt with the child well, well-being strongly influenced by the family environment and the presence of caring, stable adults, while children can thrive in any kind of family structure. The stability of the family and the nature of family relationships are important factors in child development. Marvelous teacher Rich, it shows that unstable home environments can adversely affect children, health, and well-being. Families are like branches on a tree. We grow in different directions, yet our roots remain as one. <laughs> what an improvement! We are able to discuss the family structures, rules in the family, and how to make the family members firmer and gentler with each other. <clears throat> It was great to work with you on the work we did together. Now, you can relax and have your favorite food and drinks since we've accomplished Module 3. That's it for today. It was a tremendous job. Kindly go over your module 3, page 18, and accomplish the activities prepared for you. Once again, this is Teacher Lu saying, The love of our family flows strong and deep, leaving us memories to treasure and keep. And I am Teacher Rick saying, It's not how big the house is, it's how Happy the family is. <coughs> 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 This is Radio Valencia, your school in the year in personal development module 3. Keep it up and good morning. <laughs>